Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So, I have aphids. Um, there's an aphid problem in my plants here. These are my black-eyed peas. They're everywhere. I mean, you can see in there, there's just some real thick aphid growth. They're just everywhere. I did some research. I didn't want to spray any bad pesticides, but I read that this is pretty natural. It's called neem oil, and this one is all I could find. It does say 70% neem oil and 30% other stuff. I did some research, turns out that other stuff is just a preservative, so it's not really anything to worry about. But it does say don't get it on your hands. Here's the directions. If you've got heavy infestation, which I do, it says four and a half tablespoons per gallon. This is a one and a half gallon, so that should be about six. So it says don't get any on your skin, so I'm gonna wear a glove, at least while opening this. It does not say to shake it first, but I'm gonna give that a try and see if I need to shake it. It's good I wore gloves because I would have gotten it on my hands. So it comes with this little handy measuring cup. Let's measure right, right about at the six. Put that in, in there. All right, now fill it up with water. Maybe stir it a little. I don't know. I've not used it before. All right, so this is pretty simple. You just pump it. There we go, yep. And this isn't really what I would call a pesticide necessarily. So apparently this works. I guess it's a compound that keeps the aphids from wanting to eat after they ingest it. And it can take up to two days for it to work. I gotta pump this a little more. Because it just, that's all it does. Um, and, and again, it's a natural product. So it's not something that, I mean, you don't wanna drink this stuff. I'm sure there's some kind of harmfulness to it, but this isn't a chemical, it's not, you know, Apparently it's not gonna kill you. I have a good friend that does landscaping for a living and he recommended this for aphids. That's is what he uses whenever he doesn't want to use, like if a homeowner doesn't want chemicals and stuff like that, so. And I read up on it and yeah, sure, sure enough, it, it, it is something that's totally fine. And so this doesn't hurt bees or any other animal or, you know, I mean, Obviously, direct spray, I probably would. I read it can work for cabbage loopers as well. So I do have problems with cabbage loopers on my cabbage and this garden. So I think I'll spray this. Now, of course, I'm not gonna feed the cabbage loopers now to the chickens, just in case, at least for a little while. And I guess it soaks into the plant, the plant soaks it up, and that makes the leaves themselves um, bad for the, for the bugs. All right, so like I had said before, it can take up to two days for you to see them start to die. It makes them not want to eat anymore. So once they ingest it, and they'll starve to death. And so it will take a couple days, but in a couple days, we'll come back and we'll take a look and see if this works. And if it does, and you guys know what to use if you've got aphid issues. It's been about three or four days, and I still have aphids. Look at that lots of aphids on this side you know luckily i don't have a ton of aphids in fact almost none and the beans are getting nice and big you look over here look at that one i mean that's almost the size of my hand so i'm gonna try this once more once the rain stops we'll go ahead and uh add another round of that neem oil and let it dry in. I have a feeling that the rain washed off the neem oil before it kind of really worked. The very next day after I applied it, so I think it washed it off. So I'll try one more spray of this. So I'm doing one more coating of this neem oil spray. And even though I don't see much in the way of aphids on this side, 
for some reason, I am gonna spray it maybe a little lighter to ensure that they don't end up spreading over here. Soaked it one more time. So I'm gonna let this sit for a couple days and see if there's any reduction. We will see. All right, so there's still quite a few alive ones on here, but honestly, it looks a lot better than it did. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to use the hose and shoot them off. You can see them there. And then, as you can see, we kind of cleaned it all off. Let's try that one. Almost all off. So I'm just gonna shoot these off and see if they come back. But I think I've taken care of most of it. Well guys, the very next morning, I don't see very many of those aphids. There's a couple, but it's way, way less. So that is good. Hopefully this stays this way, but I think maybe we got it. Might do one more dusting at one point in the next day or two, just to really ensure, because I do see a couple, you can see a couple of them on there like that, but the rest are, you know, I mean, there's a couple, but this was infested, and now it's a lot less, so I'm happy with the results. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.